Welcome back. Okay, so today um, I'm going to quickly go through how to create custom apps for session. Um, this is a version 2.0 of how to make custom apps for a session specifically. And um, yeah, let's get started. So first of all, you need Epic Games Launcher. So download that. When you've downloaded that, you go to Unreal Engine, Library, and you click on this plus sign, and that'll give you this. And then on the in the drop down, you want to select this version, 4.22.3. I already have that installed, so I don't need to do it, but you will. So when you have 4.22.3 installed, not 4.23 but 4.22.3, you want to click launch. Okay, when you're in here, go to new project, click blank, go down here, click on no, no starter content. You don't want the starter content, okay? Then call it anything you want. I'm gonna call it, uh, sorry, session modding. Oh. Um. Oh shit. Well, let's call it session modding too. Doesn't matter. Um. Then create project. And this should load up fairly quickly. There isn't that much to load up, so. Okay. So when you're in here now, um, I'm gonna go through a couple steps and show you how to get a map up and running in session. Just gonna wait for the asset discovery to finish. There we go. First of all, you want to create a data folder. And this data folder is going to be used to trick this map, uh, or trick session into thinking, into loading the correct game mode for the map, basically. So make a folder inside of contents here, call it data. Inside of data, you want to right click, blueprint class, game mode base. Then you want to call this pbp underscore in game session game mode and it's you want it to be exactly like this capital I capital G capital S capital G capital M capital PBP like that okay save all save current when you save current it's gonna ask you to save this map well you don't want to do that yet so we want to go back to content because now I'm going to show you how to organize maps properly so that nobody else makes a bunch of <laughs> random <laughs> random organized maps. So from now on, uh, use this folder structure when making maps, please. Right click, make a folder. And in this folder, you are going to call it, you're going to call this folder custom maps. Okay. In custom maps, you want to make another folder. You want to name it your name. So for me, it's going to be GH here. This will make it easy to know who made the map, right? And inside this, we will create another folder, which is going to be for our map. And for this time, it's going to be called test map. And inside of test map, this is where you want to save your assets. Okay. So. I'm going to make a folder and I'm going to call it map. Inside of map is where I want to save current. So I'm going to go in here all the way inside and I'm going to name this te oh, test map one save. That will then save the umap files into the map, map folder. Save all, save current. Okay, so uh, one other thing. So in here, when you make a map, inside of your map folder, right? You can make things like a texture folder, uh, folder, a 
materials folder. Sorry, I'm gonna do this instead. Well, it doesn't work. Whatever. Uh, I'm gonna make a mesh folder, right? So you can make all of these folders to organize very easily, right? Inside of your map folder. This will just make it easier for people to know, you know, where to find things. This is, I'm just spending a couple minutes here just to sort of go through this so people don't just throw everything into one folder and call it a day, right? Um, it's very difficult to find things if you want to mod your, you know, the map yourself or you want to fix something or do something with their map. Their map. Yeah. So, um, the last thing we want to do now, right? We created this fo file for a reason. This folder and this file, we created this for a reason. And it, and it is to trick this map into loading the correct game mode in session. So click inside of this scene, go over to the right hand side where it says world settings, and then you want to click on game mode override where it says none, and you want to select PVP in game session game mode, like that. You want to hit save all, save current, and I'm actually just going to remove this reflection capture because I am not a big fan of those. So I'm going to save again. And now this map is actually skatable. Uh, it will load in game perfectly fine. So all you have to do to test this um, is go to file, go down here to cook content for Windows, and then you want to cook. This will only take a couple seconds. And while I'm cooking, I am going to load up uh, Epic Games. Uh, okay, Epic Games Launcher. It's it's cooked now. I'm gonna go to Library, Session Game Modding 2, Show in Folder, and that will take you to the Project folder. Here you will click on Saved, Cooked, Windows No Editor, Session Modding 2, Content, and in here you will have a Data folder, right? and a custom maps folder. So you, you never ever want to touch this data folder. Don't ever copy this over. Don't touch it. Only touch the custom maps folder. Okay. Only ever touch this. So copy that. And now you want to go to your so session, session game and content. And you want to copy this custom maps folder into here. Then you want to load up Session Map Switcher and you want to reload and then you'll have a test map, right? So I'm just going to show you here that if, um, if I do this, if I remove the custom map and I reload, it'll disappear. And if I add it again and I reload, it'll appear. Okay, just to show you that it works. Um, Double click it to load it and then start session. Now this will start uh, the game and it will enter into the the map. Um, just a couple points here. If you want to make, you know, really cool looking maps and you want to make anything like that, that is not for me to teach you. Um, there are millions and millions of tutorials text-based tutorials, there's audio tutorials, there's tutorials on YouTube that you can watch um, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours worth, thousands of hours worth of tutorials and go and watch them. Uh, a couple things I'd suggest you look up is uh, Complex Collision for one uh, and how to import uh, meshes, how to assign materials, how to make materials um, yeah, that's about it, I'd say. That's like the basics. Um, yeah, how to import textures, all that. So, now let's see if this works. Can I, yeah, I can, can move around. So I'm doing this with my keyboard right now because my mouse is actually, or my, uh, gamepad is on second player, so I can't really use it. No idea why it's on second player, but it is what it is. But yeah, as you can see, it works. And um, yeah, that's how you make a custom map for a session. 
and um, I saw a couple people they wanted a shorter tutorial an easier tutorial and here it is uh, I'm actually going to delete the other tutorial on my GH fear channel and this is going to be the main tutorial from now on because the other one is very outdated and I don't want anyone to use that method because it's just yeah it's just ruining it ruining it for everyone because people are unpacking and ruining their game and messing up their files so yeah um, thank you for watching I hope you have fun making maps and um, yeah have a good one peace